The government of St. Lucia is providing assistance to 139 OECS citizens who are part of the Seasonal Agriculture Workers Program after they were stranded in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as a result of the eruption of the La Sofria volcano. The agricultural workers, 98 Vincentians, 18 St. Lucians and 23 Grenadians were en route to Canada for employment on Canadian farms when their flight from St. Vincent to Canada was cancelled. The workers arrived in St. Lucia on Saturday 10th April 2021 via cruise ship Serenade of the Seas and will remain in St. Lucia until new flight arrangements. A second group of workers are in Barbados. Nadia Pierre-Louis is the employment officer in the Department of Labor. We are in discussion with the Eastern Caribbean Liaison Service and they're going to say to us when another charter can be ar arranged. Um, from the looks of things, we're looking at about Tuesday for them leaving St. Lucia onto Canada. But we also have another batch of workers who are stuck in Barbados and because of the visibility problems, we are not able to have them to come into St. Lucia as yet. The situation remains very fluid. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, tremors lasting up to 20 minutes have continued to be recorded with periods of explosive activity or enhanced venting at the volcano. Heavy ashfall is affecting the island as well as neighboring islands, particularly Barbados and St. Lucia. Explosions and accompanying ashfall of similar or larger magnitude are likely to continue to occur over the next few days. Chairman of the Command Center and Minister for Tourism, Information Broadcasting and Creative Industries, Honorable Dominic Fede, was at Point Seraphin to welcome the seasonal farm workers. He says government is more than willing to assist one of the island's closest neighbors in this extremely difficult time. And we have so much in common in terms of our size, we're in the same geographic region, uh, we speak the same language, the culture is, uh, you have some similarities and so um, it is natural um, for you to come to the rescue of your neighbor in its time of need. And this is really the ethos that has really underpinned um, the response that has taken place. So um, the Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, very good partner for the Eastern Caribbean and um, the significant work that they have done. It is good that they see uh, it is important to ensure that the destinations or the places that they would bring their customers to are um, catered to in their time of need and to help in the rebuilding effort uh, is really special and it says a lot about their business philosophy. The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, the Ministry of Health, the Senusha Air and Seaports Authority, SLASPA, the Ministry of Tourism, the Department of Labor and other relevant agencies are assisting in the coordination of the effort and ensuring all the necessary public health protocols are followed. Parker Ragnanan, the Chief Environmental Health Officer, and Vernon Fosswa, Security Advisor, were among the team leaders overseeing the process. Upon entering the island, they were screened uh, uh, for COVID-19, that is. Um, therefore, they went through a temperature check, a, a little bit of interview, and then after that port health clearance, uh, they, went pro they then proceeded to immigration for clearance from which they boarded a bus and was taken to a quarantine facility. The agencies would have known their role, Port Health, the cadets were involved, the um, well, NEMO agencies, several transportation. So a lot of agencies came together to ensure that um, we pull off this particular operation. I know the first set that we are dealing with now are more people um, to, for Ministry of Labor, but as far as the arrangement for it, you know, we still had to put, pull everything together and it generally worked out very smoothly. The 139 farm workers will remain in quarantine, including the 18 St. Lucians, in order to ensure the health and safety of the group. Plans for the departure remain uncertain at this moment, given the effect of ashfall in Barbados and here in St. Lucia. In fact, Slaspa on the very Saturday evening took a decision out of an abundance of caution and in the interest of safety to shut down operations at the Hironora International Airport as a cloud of volcanic ash was heading towards the runway. Minister Fady says government will do all within its power to meet the needs of the workers. Based on the 
the availability of flights, uh, it will determine the time. If you look at what's taking place in Barbados, there's severe ash um, that's going towards Barbados, uh, a hub really for aviation in the Eastern Caribbean. And then when you think of all the restrictions with COVID and all of the limitations in, in flights that are available, then that would pose some challenge in the number of seats available. Uh, just today we saw that there were two that were um, delayed in coming uh, for that very same reason. So what we have to do is to make sure that we work together um, and be there side by side with the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Government continues to prepare for the arrival of 300 evacuees in the first instance from the Sister Isle. Some 12,000 Vincentians are in need of shelter. St. Lucia's intake will increase as space is identified. They will be accommodated at various hotels. Also, a St. Lucian house bank has been launched. A registration form is to be filled out by St. Lucians who are willing and have the capacity to house displaced Vincentians. Interested St. Lucians can fill out the registration form, which can be accessed on the Government of St. Lucia website, www.govt.lc. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.